Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 25th of April. Left it a little later in the day today. I just wanted to see WEC earnings um, but obviously coming out before the session. Now, earnings were pretty good here. It hasn't gapped up too much so far and we've got a potential fifth wave move here. So we've got a, a potentially a really good earnings reaction uh, to, to that and could be the catalyst that we need for this bullish move on our fifth wave move. So I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Thinkorswim platform. It's also available for MT4, TradeStation, NinjaTrader and Multicharts. I uh, just want to go over a little bit how we set this up. So forget earnings for net right now. We're in a strong bullish trend. We can see our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has labelled this Elliott Wave, the Wave 1, the 2, the 3, and now we've pulled back on the wave form. That's what we're interested in right now, the performance of this wave four. So let's take a look, a closer look at this. So first of all, it's pulled back and found support in our green probability pullback zone. So if you find support here and starts to move away um, and goes into through our 6-4 moving average high here, there's an 85% probability it's going to go on and hit our wave five trade target zone here. Uh, around about 81.33 in the middle of there. Now, the performance of the wave four is also measured with our indicator suite. The, the first thing we look at is our Elliott wave oscillator. And this wave four has to pull back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the wave three, which it has done. The next behavior is we look at our special false breakout stochastic. The yellow dots on the top here denote a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there on a wave four and crosses over in the oversold zone, it is likely that it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So everything's saying up really good. We've had good earnings. At the moment, we're gapping up to around about 77.10, 77.10, 11. So not much of a gap up so far, but we really haven't got that um, pre-market session open yet. So be very wary on this. So I've gone for a conservative entry, uh, about a dollar or so above where, we, where we're at pre-market so far. It's above the 6.4 moving average high for today's bar position and gives us a risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6 to the top end of our target zone there, about uh, 81.67. Stop loss 75.81. Now be aware that when we get these earnings reactions, we sometimes get quite a volatile first hour or so. So just be aware of be having that as a soft stop to begin with, just to let that volatility take hold first. And then in theory, this good earnings should be the catalyst to push us through $78, $78.06 is the entry long for WEC on the daily time frame. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.